Om Ka Halayim Yahweh Bahashim Yahawasha Bahashim Raka Kwadash Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught me this truth, peace, and blessings to the hopeful elect that's doing the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahawashah, and all fear shall warm. And the Most High does not allow the spirit, the pure spirit of truth, to enter into any vessel. For number one, the Most High is not dealing with renowned men. Denzel Washington, Shaquille O'Neal, Donald Trump, any man that's in power. The Most High is not dealing with a pompous, proud, arrogant spirit or a person that think every time he talks or walks, he got to be PC. The Most High is not dealing with individuals like that. The Most High only deal with the humble. He only deal with the meek. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 26. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. The scripture said not many wise men after the flesh. All right. Men that have all this worldly knowledge, all this carnal knowledge, not many mighty, mighty men. All right. Uh, uh, warriors. Okay. Um, when I say warriors, meaning um, um, a UFC fighter, all right, uh, um, a champion boxer, okay, not many noble, all right, and I called earlier, people like uh, Denzel Washington, you know, Donald Trump, you know, people that, that, are, that are put up in high places, all right, they are not called to the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, they don't have the pure spirit, that quickening pure spirit, of truth from the Most High upon them. The Most High doesn't work like that. First Corinthians 1 and 27. But the Most High have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And the Most High have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Yeah, that's right. The spirit of truth is resting here at Great Millstone, starting with the head apostles and elders on down to younger brothers like myself because we would be considered as the foolish things of the world that was put here to confound the wise we are considered as the weak things of the world that are put here to confound the things that are mighty and the things that are mighty all right is the kings of the earth which are the illuminati as the world called them the illuminated ones all right on the left hand side of the most high the world bankers so you can understand all right we have been put here to confound these wicked people upon the planet the same people that the bible speaks of that's who the spirit is dealing with all right starting with the apostles and elders at great millstone that's who the most high allow the pure spirit of truth to dwell in. 1 Corinthians 1 and 28. And base things of the world. And things which are despised. Have the most high chosen. Yeah. And things which are not. To bring to not things that are. And that's right. Starting with the apostles. And elders. Here at Great Millstone. We are the base things of the world. We are the things that are being despised. Alright. These other Israelite camps groups. All right. Or should I say these other Israelite camps? All right. They have the flesh. All right. Which is the identity, which is the skin pursuant to the book of Ezekiel 37, the valley of the dry bones. But they don't have the breath. They're pushing the vibration that we're Israel. They're telling the truth that we're Israel. They're telling the people that we're Israel, but they're not teaching or edifying or building the people in the spirit, in that quickening, pure spirit of the Most High. All right, because they don't have it. Great Millstone has that spirit to bring down uh, uh, Babylon. All right. Great Millstone has that spirit to chant down Babylon. Okay. First Corinthians 1 and 28. And the base things of the world and things which are displeased, despised have the most high chosen. Yeah. 
and things which are not to bring to not things that are. All right. And that's this system that, that we're from to bring to not. Verse 29, by the words of Yahweh Yahweh Shah, through the spirit that Yahweh Yahweh Shah has rested upon us. First Corinthians 1 and 29, that no flesh should glory in his presence. That's right. Because we are the base things of the world. We are the weak things of the world. And we are confounding the wise. We are confounding the mighty, which, which are the world bankers. And they're trembling in their boots right at, right at this moment. And the Most High it, have done that marvelous work. Okay? That, like the scripture said, that no flesh should glory in his presence. Because we can't glory in his presence. We can't give glory to ourselves. We can only give glory to Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Let's get a quick precept. St. John chapter 6 and verse 63. St. John 6 and verse 63. Give me one second, Akiya. St. John 6 and 63, and it reads, It is the spirit that quicketh, the flesh profiteth nothing. See, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And that's right. We have received that quickened spirit pursuant to the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 1. All right. We have been quickened by Yahweh Shah. And to quicken something is to make something alive. And we are the only uh, um, people alive on the planet um, uh, amongst the walking dead. Okay? We have that quickening spirit. And that's a marvelous work of the Most High in this world's darkness. That's why, all right, we can't give no glory to ourselves. All right? Because the flesh profiteth nothing. It's the spirit that quickens. All right? And the Most High has allowed that quickened spirit. All right, this, the perfect, pure spirit of truth to rest upon great millstone. All right. First Corinthians. Uh, where were we? First Corinthians 1 and 28. And the base things of the world and the things which are despised, the most I have chosen. Yeah. And the things which are not to bring to not things that are that no flesh should glory in his presence. Verse 30, but of him are ye in a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, who of the Most High is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption only through Yahweh Shai. All right. He has given us the spirit of faith in Yahweh Shai. Verse 31, that according as it is written, and anytime you see as it is written, uh, here, Paul is reiterating the Old Testament. He that glorified, let him glorify in the Lord. And that's right. And, and if I'm not mistaken, Paul is um, reiterating Jeremiah 9 and 23. All right. Let's jump from there and let's get 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And let's start at verse 7. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 7, and it reads, But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery. That's right. We here at Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and the elders on down to younger brothers like myself, because the Spirit of the Lord has rested upon us. He has quickened us, all right, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. And we speak the words of wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, because the rest of these people can't see what we're saying. We are speaking dark sands, all right? But we have the light, all right, which is the pure spirit from the Most High for us to understand these dark sands and, and to unlock these mysteries only through the spirit. And we speak them to the world. Even the hidden wisdom, even the hidden wisdom, things that these people will, won't know or, or wouldn't know, all right? If, if Rabbi Ava Bim is on down to our elder uh, apostle to her, all right, break down through the spirit. Even the hidden wisdom, which the Most High ordained before the world unto our glory, all right? And that hour is the hopeful elect unto us, all right? To our glory, 
Okay? Because these things were were, were, were hidden, right? But due to Yahweh Shah uh, uh, becoming a sacrificial lamb and opening up the seals and opening up this truth, all right, for us to be capable of understanding these mysteries in these end times, all right, we have a chance of salvation. Verse 8, which none of the princes of this world knew. See, it, 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 was, it was sealed. It was locked up. For had they knew it, they would have not crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, here go Paul reiterating the Old Testament again. I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High have prepared for them that love him. All right. And we're learning about the kingdom. We don't know all the marvelous things uh, uh, that, that the Most High has in store for us, but the things that has been revealed, all right, we, we, we embrace. Second Corinthians, First Corinthians 2 and 10, but the Most High have revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit search of all things, yeah, the deep things of the Most High. Only through the Spirit we know these things, all right? Only through the Spirit, all right, we know the mystery of who Rabbi Abba Bivens really was. All right, he was John the Baptist. All right, coming back in the reincarnation. All right, and John the Baptist. All right, what was it? Was uh, Elijah? All right, these are the mysteries that we speak unto the peoples that the that the Spirit allowed us to see. The mystery daughter of Babylon, which is America. That's a mystery. All right, uh, who who has received the earth in this latter time? Job nine and twenty four, which is the wicked, and that wicked is starting with the top tier elites of the so-called modern day white man. All right. These are all the things that you people don't see that the spirit has rested upon us. And we are what, uh, uh, putting out there. Okay. First Corinthians two and 11 for what man knoweth the things of man save the spirit of man, which is in him. Even so the things of the most high knoweth no man but the spirit of God, all right? And starting with the apostles and the elders here at Great Millstone, we have the spirit of the Most High. See, the spirit of the Most High has rested upon us, all right? Because we know uh, 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 the things of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, all right? Starting with the names, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, all right? Matter of fact, I'm gonna get one, one last precept, and I'm going to close. This is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 53 and 1. Yeah. Who has believed our report? And whom is the arm of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai revealed? Yeah. That's that quickening spirit. That's the... Uh, the arm of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. All right. Our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, has been revealed unto us. He supped with us. He has shed light in our life, which is understanding. All right. To see these dark sins. Okay. To have a chance for salvation. And only the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, shall rest on uh, the true men of the Lord, the prophets. The scripture says what? Uh, the book of Amos. The Lord power will do nothing. He will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. All right, starting with the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone on down to younger brothers like myself. We are the prophets coming back, man, to do the job. We have the spirit of the Lord, the pure spirit, all right, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, which is the inspiration of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right, the true life. We are the one, the quickened ones. All right. And with that, you know, just to recap the lesson real quick, Lord willing, it's been edifying. These other uh, uh, guys who think they know the Bible, all right, these super scoffers to these low level, level scoffers, the Most High is not dealing with you people, man. First of all, you, you, you don't understand Yahweh Shai. Second of all, you don't understand these mysteries. You can't see these mysteries, all right? The scripture said, I'd rather you prophesy. You guys, where's your prophecies? Okay, in the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. 
All right? So the spirit is not dealing with these people out here. The spirit has rested here at Great Millstone, starting with our head apostles and elders, on down to younger brothers like myself. All right? Lord willing, I pray that this man edifying and know that the spirit is here. All right? The spirit is dealing with us, the man here at Great Millstone. Barakate Yahweh, Barakate Yahweh Shah, Barakate Yahweh, Barakate Yahweh Shah, Barakate Yahweh, Barakate Yahweh Shah, Barakate Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Raka Kwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, and death to this wicked cesspool America.